Hi, and welcome back to Sailing Zephyr. After three and a half years of sailing, we have finally made it to the east coast of the US. Join us as we make the thousand nautical mile journey from Fort Lauderdale to Annapolis. If you would like to support our journey, a great way is by clicking the subscribe button. Enjoy the video, guys. Well, good morning, everyone. It's about 9.42. The night was a bit of a mixed sort of bag. As expected, the wind died, so we had to put the motor on. We had to bring some of the, well, most of the sails all in because uh, we had this weird sort of swell that was rocking us. And then we sort of dodged this little minefield of cargo ships that were parked out front of Savannah. And we're about three hours out from the entrance to Charleston. But what we've got coming is we've got a big, some squall over there, a big cloud, it's full of rain and um, we just kind of increased the motor a little bit because I think we might just squeak by it. Um, when I was asleep, Nat put all the sails back up and we've been uh, motor sailing for the last few hours. But here, check it out. Look at this monster. Ugh. I don't know how that shows up on camera, but you can see it is packed full of rain. We have one reef in the main. <laughs> uh, but we've got full Genoa, so I'll give it another couple minutes. If I think this thing is going to sideswipe us, we'll quickly pull a big chunk of the Genoa and maybe even put another reef in the main, but we'll see how we go. And of course, when you got a squall coming, nothing beats it when Nat loves to start whipping up some eggs in squall conditions. Squally? What do you call these? Squ squally eggs? Squally eggs. Squally eggs. Ugh, look at the boat. It's such a tip. It's turned into passage mode. It always happens. And when we get into port, that's usually the first thing we do is tidy up a bit. All right, let's see how this bad boy is tracking. Get, get sideswiped by a little bit of rain here. Huge dolphin just... Whoa, look at this dolphin! camera come back what do you guys think are we gonna make it wind is still only 10 knots but that doesn't mean anything in a squall because as you guys have probably seen in some of our other videos in like five seconds we can have like a 40 50 knots just okay. yeah I'm about to reduce the main all right guys I'm gonna reduce a little bit of main and some Genoa because I think this thing is gonna just clip us so better safe than sorry I think we're actually going to pass this now. But I'm still, still going to pull it in. Just to, I'd rather pull it in, be safe, and then we can just shut it back out. Well, I tell you what, super spoiled this morning. Nat was actually still making eggs. Look at this. Scramble the eggs, omelet style, with parmesan and ham. Ooh. Nothing better than to watch a squall develop. I don't know. 
Still a close one. What do you guys think? Well, we are like 10 minutes from entering the channel here. We kind of got here a little sooner than I thought we would, so there is about an hour and a half till uh, slack tide. It's been a pretty good afternoon of sailing. We dodged that storm. We got a few sprinkles of rain, but that's about it. And we're about to enter into Charleston. James thought he'd play chicken with this huge cargo ship at the back here. Coming <laughs> in to the freaking ICW. On the right. All these this is pretty horrendous going through here. The boat is literally pitching and rolling. Maybe we should have waited an hour for slack tide but the problem is the tide's coming out and it's creating it's hitting the waves that are coming in and creating these horrible uh, conditions so normally you tend to wait for slack tide or incoming tide when you're coming in so that it's nice and easy then we decided to go through and uh, then we got the cargo ship wanted to come through at the same time so it's been a little bit hectic Good morning, USA! <laughs> All right, guys, well, it's not morning, it's lunch, but we are excited because we're gonna do a little bit of the ICW for the next three days. We've got no wind and we can't sail, so we might as well check out some of the ICW. We've been really excited to explore a bit of it. So we're leaving Charleston and we're gonna go all the way to a place called Georgetown, but we're gonna stop halfway along at about 24 miles. It's a cute little anchorage. There's all these like little river uh, sort of exits off the ICW. We're just gonna pull up and anchor in one for the night. But yeah, we're gonna pick up the hook, get going, and that's it. All right, guys, here we go. Guess what, guys? We just entered into the ICW. The I was driving and I got a little bit scared seeing the depth. So yeah, I've, uh, James has taken over now. We're coming up to our first bridge, which uh, I think they open upon request. So once we get there, we'll ask them to open it. We'll open, we'll go through, and then the next bridge we're crossing today, fixed. So we're gonna have to go under. So we're kind of hoping to time it for low tide, but we might not. And we'll see, because it's low tide right now, so I don't know how we're gonna time it for low tide. That's what I mean. So how is it going to be low tide if it's low tide right now? So this is our little holder we made. Temporary holder. Temporary holder. So this is like a telescopic pole with one of these things on it. Well, because we didn't want to pay for the Navionics charts for the, just the Eastern Seaboard. As you can see, this is useless now. Plus this has got the, we're using the Aquamaps maps and we've got Bob 123, four, one, two, three, um, track all the way up the ICW and stuff. It's awesome. Nat's following that, right? Right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> James wants to slow this bad boy down and creep through. Yeah. I say if we're gonna hit, let's just do it the proper way, right? <laughs> like... We have more than... <gasps> Why do bridges always so scary? Why is it so scary? Anyway. Show the bridge clear. There's a chart here that shows you the bridge clearance depending on the tide. And I'll show you here. Really? I don't know. Hopefully I can zoom in on that. We are 63.8 with the antenna. So here we go.
this wind is coming from. We weren't meant to have any wind and now we're getting like a ton while we're in the ICW, but uh, just hasn't been working out for us. Uh, Windy and other ones have not been showing the correct weather. Look at these homes. This is pretty insane. Like, you would never think this is in here. Look at this. These homes are like one, two, three, four, five, six levels homes. Maybe more, I don't know. Six level homes with their own pontoons with two or three boats each. And here's us struggling to pay for groceries. <laughs> Seriously, and fuel, especially fuel. <laughs> oh my God. how beautiful this is. I think we're going to be anchoring just in one of these little inlets here. Yeah, that's it. Let's drop the hook. So this is it. We're leaving the ICW and heading down here to anchor. So let's hope it's deep enough. But oh my god, it I mean, there's no words to describe this. It's absolutely beautiful. It smells incredible, like, um, I don't even know what that smell is, but it's like earthy and flowery at the same time. I don't know, it smells absolutely amazing. There's no one else here, so it's just going to be us and the pelicans that are diving in for fish and the dolphins that keep going by. So we're literally going to be in this anchorage, just us in the middle of all these kind of like marshlands all around us. Like it is incredible, absolutely incredible. All right, I'm gonna shut up and get ready to put the hook down. Actually in gator country. Georgetown, South Carolina. We tied up at the dock to get fuel and water. And now we're tying up at the public dock, which is free, and heading into town and exploring. Oh, I've heard good things about this maritime museum. Where Southern time meets maritime. Oh! 